back guys, welcome back. We're starting the new year off right with a new build. I scooped this here ramp truck um, from a member of um, one of the pages on Facebook groups I belong to, I think like RC Pool Drives Only or something like that. And uh, I had been following the build a, a little bit from what he had shared on there. And then he posted this truck up for sale and I had to jump on it. Um, I love theme builds. So anything that kind of has like you know, more than just your stereotypical average, you know, square body Chevy or Hilux or whatever it is that you're building. I like when they have like something more of like a purpose, um, as you guys you know, know, you know about my twister truck. So like a movie theme, I've also done the RC four wheel drive TF2 four door Hilux, did that as a DEC, like a state police type truck. So when I saw this here tow truck or, you know, car haul or whatever you want to consider it, this is right in my purview of, um, you know, things that I think are cool and are fun to do. So I was able to strike a deal, got the truck here, and I've been working on it for the last uh, week or two. And my goal is to try to have it somewhat ready to go for USTE, which is quickly approaching. I think we have like a month, um, I think to the day, actually. So if you haven't bought your tickets to USTE, those are on sale. Get your tickets now for that. It's an event you don't want to miss. Um, you know, Northern Florida, good time of year to get away if you're in the colder regions like I am. But uh, yeah, so we're going to try to get this thing somewhat together for that. I already started on doing some upgrades. Uh, for starters, the truck was very, very used. Um, I'll put up some pictures of what the front axle looked like that came out of the truck. The uh, front steering geometry was all out of whack because the previous owner had done a axle flip to get the stance of the truck down lower but with the Yoda 2 axles then the knuckles are upside down and it creates this like weird geometry with them it was binding with the steering and it was just a complete total mess so for starters we swapped the front axle out which was pretty clapped we went with a, an original Yoda 1 axle which then I was able to flip and also flip the knuckles without screwing up any sort of like uh, you know geometry there I then was able to then swap the ring gear around in the Yoda 2 rear axle so that this way, with the front being flipped over and the rear not being flipped in order to get the correct stance, um, I was able to do so and then not have the wheels spinning in opposite directions of, one of themselves. So got that squared away. The other thing that we did was is I figure something like this deserves some pretty rad um, aluminum wheels so naturally we went with some RC full drive dually wheels and 1.55 grabbers I think they fit the theme of the truck really really well the other thing that we did was I added some scale hubs it is four-wheel drive still technically so I guess it kind of goes with that theme it didn't have a rear drive shaft in it when I got it so I started getting that uh, squared away I kicked it old school and actually just chopped up I think my remaining stock of stampede um, you know, plastic drive shafts and just created this Frankenstein drive shaft with some old school steel yokes like we used to do back in the RC crawler days. I don't foresee this thing seeing some really hard, heavy use, so I'm not really too worried about strength. Uh, the front is just a standard, uh, I think, like drive shaft from their Marlin crawler truck or something like that. But this thing's pretty cool. The bed is actually servo actuated and tilts down. So you can pull a car up onto it. I'll post a picture um, showing what it looks like with my one Datsun 510 drag car. But yeah, this is a cool, pretty cool build. The, the, it's, it's you know operated via the remote for the tilt for the third channel. It's got a wireless system for the winch for you know being able to pull a car up. Um, so I'm pretty stoked to get this thing together. I think it's going to be a cool little build. The body's a little rough um, as far as like the paint and things like that go. But he did a really nice job on the bed. But I purchased a new door because he tried to do some like weathering like by melting it and like I think banging it like making it look banged up but it didn't really come out too great but uh, we're gonna fix that so I got some new body parts trees I also went with the front bull bar from RC foil drive I think that's a good look for like a tow truck we're gonna ditch the uh, the rubber mirrors and we're gonna go to some more like truck looking mirrors for it I have a um, a light bar on order like an LED one that I used um, similar to the one on my crew cab truck the Toyota DEC truck uh, but it's all amber you know this way we're in compliance with New York state laws can't be having red or blue if we're not you know uh, police or, or uh, EMS so uh, don't want to break the law 
but uh, yeah, tenth scale land, right? So anyway, so yeah, so this is what we're working on. Um, I got a lot to do before UST. I, I kind of want to try to finish one monster truck, so I have something for the show and shine gallery. Um, I have to finish Ashley's VW thing. That's pretty close uh, to being ready. I have to make some body mounts for it uh, later this week. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to kind of wrap this one up here. Um, I'll give you guys a quick up close personal with this one just so you can kind of see where it's at. Um, it does need a good bit of work, but I think I'm going to have enough time to get it presentable uh, for UST and, and, and somewhat usable. I think it'll just make a I think it'll be something different down there. Um, I haven't seen any sort of ramp trucks like this before, so I think that'll be pretty cool to bring. I'm not expecting it to take home any hardware or anything like that, but um, we'll see what everyone thinks of it. So, all right, uh, that's it. Bring it up close, and then we got work to do. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so this is the ramp truck. It's really cool. The guy did a really nice job on the bed. Um, did a decent job on the uh, the cab chop. It was actually a forerunner body, and you could see these RC full drive uh, front dually wheels are really sweet. Looks good with the the grabbers, a little like you know, all terrain replicas, and then the backs look good as well. I got some scale hubs. I got to toss on there still. The bed's actually made out of uh, balsa wood and then laminated over with styrene. And then additionally laminated over with some scale aluminum diamond plate. And then he's got some like 3D printed uh, parts here, um, you know, for like the, the ramp part where like the tire's supposed to stick. You can see over here, he's got some rails that he had made. I have the, the ones that go on the rest of the truck. They The truck actually got really damaged in uh, shipping. It got pretty, pretty banged up pretty good. So um, we're, we're going to do our best to you know, get it cleaned up and stuff for the event. So we can bring that down there with us. I think it'll just be a cool little, a cool little piece to have. You can see what I was talking about here with the door and like kind of tried to make it look like it was like rusted, you know, the whole old school lighter trick, but um, I don't know, just, just, just wasn't really done that well. There's a lot of paint on the body. Eventually it will get a full repaint. Um, but you know, for now it'll it'll do. I mean, it's it's a tow truck after all. It's a work truck, so it doesn't have to be super duper pretty. But you know, we'll get it uh we'll get it up to par. Um, I do also have. I'm thinking about doing like a scale um, engine bay. I got one of the 22 RE engine bays that RC Full Drive does. I might just cheat and toss that in there. And the interior um, was pretty chopped up for how he had the electronics and stuff and. Uh, I've got a bunch of new pieces in for that uh, to kind of redo that and make that a little bit nicer and stuff. Uh, you can see it's missing the passenger seat that I was actually ejected during shipping. Uh, the box came so beat up that the the one seat actually came out of the truck and out of the box even. So yeah, good old good old shipping. You know how that goes. I hate shipping you know trucks that are pricey and of, of value. You just never know these days. So. All right, stay tuned. We're gonna have some more updates on this one as we go along, but I gotta get to work on it. Gotta get this thing ready for UST. Thanks guys, see ya.